Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is about Corel Draw 2020 and the new variables font. I had a person email me or leave me a message on one of my videos that he's got 2020, and when he did it, the variable font was grayed out. Well, I had to watch a video, and I'm actually heavily copying somebody else's video. They did a really good job, but I want to have it on my channel. Um, he did a really good job. I ought to just put a link to it and let you watch it. But um, So this is a true type font. These are open type variable fonts. And if, if we look at them in wireframe, you can kind of see the difference. These are just outlined, and these are totally different. And then go back to Enhance, and click on that font and it gives you this opening. Now in this particular font, I can't pronounce the name of it, but you can change the weight. If you look at it, it's getting skinnier and heavier, which you could do with a regular font, and but you could do the width, which you could do with a regular font. But this one, which is uh, Decorva Alpha, when you click on this, look at all the things you can do. So let's move this out of the way a little bit. Let's actually zoom in a little bit on it. It's pretty cool what you could do. I think I wanted to get it all the way over there to make it work because we're going to open up this window. And look, you can do what, just watch the font. You could have inline as thick as you want. You could have some sort of worm. It just breaks the font apart. Inline skeleton, which means it doesn't go to the edge, I guess. Worm skeleton, uh, stripes, rounded. That's pretty cool. I just did a video the other day on how to round off the corners of a font. Flared, which is gonna give it kind of like a uh, Times New Roman look. You know, rounded slab. Open inline terminal, I'm not gonna do them all. Then you can do the weight, just like the other one. Um, what is slab? Slab is that one. So then look at that. That's a complete new text from what that to that. This is gonna be very useful. Now, how I found them, and I just went to, I just typed in free verbal fonts, and a couple came up, uh, one I, Got one of them off there was actually uh, Font Palace. Let's just type that in. There it is, fontpalace.com. And it's kind of like DA fonts. They've got 6,157 pages of fonts. And then you just type in the one you want to try to go get and, and download it. And I've got plenty of videos on how to do that. But anyway, that is uh, pretty interesting. I'm glad that viewer kind of tested me on that. And also you can go to your Windows Dockers and your Font Text Docker. I actually had it open. I should have just hit it. And you, you've got that same button right here, and actually the, this would have been the, better, the best way to show it off. Let me uh, zoom in on this text, because I'm pretty sure once we open this up, you'll be able to see the difference in the text a lot better. There's some limitations, I guess. Uh, I don't see really the word, the worm, but you know, that's, this right here, to me, is the coolest. And you know why? That's why the other um, line was looking funny because we were, I had it, had too many things going on. I had the, the slab on. I mean, look at that. Just if you want to give it some different look. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.